Here it's Khalil G. Three real motion angling. I got a small little video I'm trying to do today. I got a little bit of time. Took a day off today because you know, being a dad, sometimes you end up with sick children and you gotta pamper and take care of people. But I have a few moments to get out and reach out and see if I can get something out of this water. I'm back at my home lake. I also got a brand new GoPro Hero Black 8, newest one on the market. Want to get a couple tests going with that too. So stay tuned. It's kind of a double video. I'm trying to see if I can catch some fish and see how this GoPro works. Let me turn around. Got a couple feet of walking to get to this lake. See y'all in a second. All right, I just walked up under the dock here um, on my way down to where I normally stand and go fishing. And I've seen at least six young junior bass here up in the shallows which is making me believe that the water's warm enough for the fish to come forward and they may be starting to bed soon. So I gotta be very careful about where I'm walking and how I'm talking and where I'm fishing in because I don't want to disturb any of these fish right now. It's almost dead center of the day. It's 11:13 in the morning still. So I don't want to disturb them, but I am gonna try to sneak into my position, very stealthy, very ninja style and see if I can make this happen. All right, so I officially am standing at the lake right here where I actually plan on fishing and doing my thing. I uh, have seen quite a few fish on the move and roaming around. I'm very lightly equipped today. All I have is this GoPro. I have exactly two rods with me. Put a couple baits in my pocket in case I snapped off and I got something else to replace it with. So I got a Guggen Squad Slim Shake with a hook and a weight in it just in case. And then I got these Ned Riggs 10,000 fish Shikoshi bugs that I'll use, you know, if anything else happens. So I'm just keeping some light lines, some finessey kind of stuff just in case. But uh, I'm going to start out. I got a swim bait with an underspin on it, ready to go. I also have a spoon, a gold spoon that I'm going to try to use. I'm probably going to start with that because it makes it simpler. As you can clearly see, I got my baby with me today. She's hanging out. She's having a slight sick day. You know, no COVID-19, none of that stuff like that. Just a little bit of a stomach bug that we're trying to work through. So I got her out here with me today because I got a chance to take a day off. And if we both get to take a day off, might as well do something exciting. So as long as she's not throwing up right now, I'm going to see if I can get a good amount of fishing in. I'm about to switch to the brand new GoPro, see how this Hero 8 is working out. And then I'm going to get to fishing. Bam, and we're recording. Hero 8, up and running. All right. Uh, it's just not on yet, dude. I gotta press and hold the button. So anyway, I got my small spinner rod, my little five, six rod. I have a spoon on it, gold. So we can see what we can do with a little bit of sunlight and some reflection. See what we can do. Probably should have put a probably should have put a swivel on this or some sort of snap hook. That way, it works the way I kind of want it to. But the water is stained from all the rain in the last few days. That water is really stained. From where I'm standing, the water is, you know, I can see possibly there's a lot of grass growing up out of the and under the lake right now. It's very spring-like in this water. It's very warm out here right now for Georgia. There's just a bunch of small fish right there pressed. If the fish are pressed right there, that means there's something chasing them. There's a bunch of fish sitting up in this 
bush here. Oh man, this is such a dope GoPro. The views and the angles on this thing is amazing. So far, so good. I'm not catching anything, but I am most definitely, definitely getting good views on this GoPro. And they went out there and sat on a land mass and kicked the ducks off their land mass. Oh, yeah, I can see there's some people way over there sitting on a sand bend. It's kind of dangerous to be over there because, uh, that sand is like quicksand over there. I know because I've been over there and I had to fish my lady out of the quicksand. I was telling her not to walk in certain spots, and you know, she wasn't listening. She went in. So, hopefully, it's not the same. Those two gentlemen on exactly where we were. We were at least another 20 or 30 feet over to the to their left. Dang, that sucker laid right on that metal. They looking at it, but they don't want it. <laughs> they are attacking fish like crazy over here. I said, they are attacking fish. I'm watching the bass eat other fish. They're attacking right now. My presentation must be too big. Well, I mean, it's small, but it's not. Oh, look how big that one is. Yeah, wow. He left. He was so big that I was able to see his lateral line. That's that, that line that goes along the side of their body. He was really big. He was right here. As soon as I started walking up, he turned sideways and swam up. See, there's a small one in there. Do you see them? Yeah. Now you see them? Mm -hmm. They're all over here. Like, you're just seeing reflections because you could the mirror, the, the water looks like a mirror to you. To me, it doesn't. I can see through it. That's why they're wearing those glasses. So they can see through the water. Those aren't my fishing glasses, so honestly, if I was wearing my fishing glasses, I could see through the water even better. All right, I saw where that fish went. I'm about to switch baits up. See if I can catch them. But they're out here, and they're hungry. All right, well, not catching nothing but an abundance of spinach right now. for 45 minutes. I still got three hours left on this battery. That's really good. I was expecting much worse conditions. 
much worse. Oh, neat. Oh, well, there we go. Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah, thank you for that confidence. <laughs> I'm on. <laughs> Look at that guy. Holy mess. Are you going to keep that? Oh, no, no, no. I always put them back. Yeah, see, I agree. Look at that. I want to Look at that beauty. You should take a picture of it. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> nice catch. You know what? I need to take a picture of it and show my Woo. that there is something in here. As oh, he ate that good. How long is I don't know, but I didn't bring my scale today. I was expecting a light fish and to not really be catching anything. Right. Here we go. Yes. Okay, Beautiful. Take a picture of that bad boy. Zeus, sit down. Nice. <laughs> thank okay. you, thank you. All right. All right. Well, now I'm going to have to bring my grandma. <laughs> there you go. That was a nice catch, buddy. Thank you. Come on, boy. Woo. So we can make some lunch. Woohoo. Booyah. What was that, about a good five, six pounder? No, no, that's maybe about two and a half, three. They, they always seem a little bigger than they actually are. Okay. I've been getting some, like, bites over there, because I've mm -hmm. been pulling, and they've been just like that. Oh, it's all right, boy. It is all right. Uh, 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 rubber, uh, plastic swim bait. Okay. All right, Bo, you ready? What side was it on? I can honestly say that was not a bad experience. I did actually catch something, even though I was just testing the GoPro. The, truthfully, that's the biggest bass I've ever caught out of Main Street Lake. And I've been around this area for many a decade now. I fished that lake a lot. I have caught a nice sized black crappie out of there. Dozens upon dozens upon dozens of panfish. And like one or two bass that were like junior size. The one I just caught was full adult size, looking like he was ready to go out and start breeding anytime. So. They're not officially 100% shallow here at my lake yet. They are working up towards the shallows at my lake. So that's pretty sweet to be able to come out here with the knowledge I've gained from my experiences coming to the lakes and watching all these videos here on YouTube, which is why I'm making them now. To be able to use that knowledge and come out here and actually be successful is a wonderful thing. The GoPro looks wonderful. I can't wait to take this footage off of it. 
and uh, see the actual size of that fish again that I was holding. It's pretty awesome. So y'all stay tuned. Thanks for watching this video. Thanks for clicking on and taking a gander at what it is I'm doing over here at 3 Real Motion Angling. I'm Khalil G. Thanks for spending your time. Don't forget to click the thumbs up button or the thumbs down button, however you feel. I, I can't make that choice for you. But subscribe, click the little bell notification right there for me. If you like the content, comment down below. If you got any ideas or anything that you would like to see, and I'll be here doing it for you. Stay tuned, stay real, three real.